What are you doing? Come over here. Come over here. Okay, okay, I've heard some rumors and some theories about a second booster course pass, and my first thought was, man, I shouldn't have had that grilled cheese. But my second thought was, wait, can I make it balanced? So that's what I'm here to do. I'm going to try to predict Mario Kart 8's second booster course pass. That is if it's going to happen. First off, before I start predicting, I do not think the second booster course pass will have six waves like the first one. I think it's just going to have three waves for 2024. One for March, one for July, and then the last one being for either late November or early December. I also think that each wave should have only one tour city track instead of two because I feel like Nintendo wouldn't release six city tracks in one year. I mean, Bangkok Rush's release date was June 29th, 2022, while Athens Alleyway came out April 19th, 2023. That's like 10 months between these two releases. So yeah, I don't think they're gonna have six cities ready. I think they should be in the first track of the first cup, as they usually are in the regular booster course pass. And I also think that each wave should end with a nitro track, or just a tour track that isn't a city. So each wave should have one tour city track, one nitro track, and then six retro tracks in between. And that's how it's going to be for, the, for all the other waves. The only exception is wave 9, where I'm going to have both the tour nitro track and the tour city track in the same cup, since I want to end off, you know, the shine cup with a very special track. Now, to balance things out, there will be three tracks from four different Mario Kart games, and then the rest will only have two tracks. So, which games will have three tracks in them? The first game to have it is Mario Kart Double Dash. We didn't get a Double Dash track until Wave 4, and I think it deserved better. Next, I pick Mario Kart DS and Mario Kart 7, since their time in the spotlight was cut short, with the last seven track we got being in Wave 3, and the D the last DS track being in Wave Four, and even though Mario and even though DS Mario Circuit was funny as hell, I still think it stole the spot of better tracks. Then I think the last game is Mario Kart 64. Even though we literally had one N64 track in every Retro Cup, not counting the first DLC, it still hasn't gotten a course since Wave Two. Now for the first game to get two tracks, Mario Kart Wii. Now. I love Mario Kart Wii, it's my favorite Mario Kart game, but I feel like it got too much in the Booster Course Pass. It gets one track in every wave. So I think Mario Kart Wii should take a backseat and let other games shine. Speaking of which, Mario Kart Super Circuit. Originally it was going to be Mario Kart Super Circuit that would get three tracks while Mario Kart 64 gets two, but I thought Mario Kart 64 had enough going for it to get three tracks. But I think Mario Kart Super Circuit could still do good with only two tracks. And finally, Super Mario Kart. Well, there's nothing really special to it. Anyways, let's take a look at the waves, and bada bing bada boom, we have our track placements. Starting off with Super Mario Kart, we technically have 16 tracks to choose from, but if we count my predictions from the first Booster Course Pass, and then there's repeated, repeated track themes, we only have three. Vanilla Lake, Choco Island, and Koopa Beach. I think Koopa Beach makes Wave 8 since, you know, I'm guessing this wave will take place during summer. And I think Wave 7 comes out early in the year and near the end of winter, so that convinced me so that convinced me enough to add Vanilla Lake. Whether it's 1 or 2, I don't really care. Next up, Mario Kart 64. I will start off with the Wave 9 track. And since it will take place late fall, early winter, I say add Frappe Snowland, kind of for the same reason as Vanilla Lake. Then for Wave 8, I would add Koopa Troopa Beach, but we already got Koopa Beach, so why? Personally, and before I say anything, I just want to say that these are my predictions, but I'm adding Mario Raceway. Now yes, I know, why another fucking circuit? Well, first off, it's technically not a circuit, it's a, it's a raceway, but secondly, 
Last year, we got SNES Mario Circuit 3 as the second track of Wave 5. Now, how about two years later, we get Mario Kart 64 Circuit as the second track for Wave 2. Then, for Wave 7, there's not really much I can think about, so I'm just gonna add Banshee Boardwalk, because what else am I gonna add? Wario Stadium? <laughs> Moving on, we got the Advanced Mario Kart. And let's just get this out of the way. I think Luigi Circuit would be added. I think that Luigi has been drafted to the side to let better tracks get into the booster course path, but not anymore. It's I think it's Luigi's time to shine by giving him a rainy, dark, basic, non-elevated racetrack. Now for the second GBA track, I was thinking Yoshi Desert because we all know Yoshi Desert ain't beating Sunset Wilds for the original booster course pass. And originally the GBA track was meant for Wave 8, but not being able to find a good SNES track for that slot made the SNES slot and GBA slots switch spots. Plus there's a better desert track that keeps the Yoshi Sphinx, so... With the GBA track being the third to last Booster Course Pass 2 track, I decided to add Lakeside Park, since it's pretty gimmicky I guess? with a volcano that shoots out hot lava, which could lead to a foreshadow to the track that follows it. And with that, we have our GBA tracks. So we can move on to Mario Kart Double Dash, and well, we're gonna have a problem. You see, Mario Kart Double Dash has 16 tracks, but you could take away the five that are already in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, then take away the tracks I predicted, and then we're left with only Luigi Circuit, Peach Beach, Mario Circuit, Mushroom City, Wario Coliseum, Dino Dino Jungle, Bowser's Castle, and Rainbow Road. But I don't want to repeat music, so that literally takes away every track except Bowser's Castle and Rainbow Road. So I'll just say screw it. If Waluigi Pinball can do it, why can't Wario Coliseum? Which I will add into Wave 9. And I'm just going to switch it with GBA Lakeside Park, so that now it's the second to last, the third to last track. Then I'm going to add Dino Dino Jungle. I was thinking Mario Circuit since Dino Dino Jungle would come right after Wave 6, which has DK Mountain in my prediction, but I don't think it matters anymore. Then I'm just going to add Mushroom City for Wave 8, because what else am I going to add? I'm going to skip over DS and move on to Wii, where there's one track that I think deserves to get in. A couple of months ago, I put a poll on YouTube that, where I let you guys choose which track you wanted in Wave 5. And despite Koopa Cape being old and janky and Dry Dry Runes being hot and fresh, it's still lost by over 75%, so I kind of feel bad. I've decided to give it a second chance and put it in Wave 8. However, one thing I've seen with the Booster Course Pass is that for every wave, the last track of the first cup is usually the hype track, the track that people most want to see. Coconut Mall, Waluigi Pinball, Maple Tree Way, and if there's a Nitro track, then it's the track before it, with DK Summit, and if my predictions are right, that would make Koopa Cape and Mushroom Bridge the hype tracks. And no offense to Dry Dry Desert, but I don't think it's a hype enough track that would make people go like... So I'll move it as the third track. And you guys see how the second Wii track is the second to last Booster Course Pass 2 track? Now, What's usually the second to last track in any Mario Kart game? And what did I mention about Lakeside Park foreshadowing a future track? If you haven't picked up already, then what's wrong with you? Have some hot sauce because we're adding Bowser Castle, baby! Despite Mario Kart Wii having less tracks than the other games, I picked out some damn good bangers of tracks. I deserve a reward. How about some hot sauce? <laughs> Now moving on. Ah! Moving on to Mario Kart 7. As we can see in the Poison Mushroom Cup, it's the first cup of the last wave. And if we see with wave 3, it had a ghost track to match with the spooky season. So I'll do it again. With last year's theme being a spooky abandoned pier, how about we add on to that with a spooky haunted shipwreck? Now I know Wario Shipyard isn't really a ghost track. Or is it? I don't really know. But it doesn't matter. It gets added. For the next track, since it releases summer, what do you do in summer? Travel. Where? Possibly to an island. And what's a hype track people want to see in the Booster Course Pass? That's right, Maka Woohoo. 
In all seriousness, I would love to see this track in the game. Even if the music is just going to be from 3DS Woohoo Town from the battle mode. Finally, for Wave 7, I was going to pick Shaggy Bizarre, but I don't think it matches Wave 4. And there are a lot of other tracks that are in tour that I can choose from. I think the best choice is probably Cheap Cheap Lagoon since you go through a lagoon and in my opinion it has that spring feeling you know. So I think just because of the theme it's Cheap Cheap Lagoon. Then again they did add Snowland in the Summer Wave 2. Shaggy Bazaar it is. Now for the Tour City tracks, since all cities that have come out are already going to be in the first booster course pass, I'll just have to pick at random. I guess I have to come back to you, don't I? Two hours later. Stockholm, Rome, Sewell. I chose these out of the 12 other city tracks because, well, I don't really know. I'll say Stockholm goes in wave 7, Rome can go in wave 8, and Sewell can go in wave 9. What I find kind of ironic is how these three tracks kind of feel like the first city tracks from the from waves 4 through 6. Finally, Mario Kart DS. I think it was fitting we added the two tracks that were robbed and taken from their o from the OG Booster Course Pass. That's right, Airship Fortress and Delfino Square. These are the two best Mario Kart DS tracks that aren't that aren't already in the game. And they both deserve to be in Wave 4, but unfortunately, Nintendo has a sense of humor. Airship Fortress can go in Wave 7 as the hype track, and Delfino Square can go in Wave 8 as it's the first track and it's not too complex. And then there's that last slot. For Mario Kart DS, I think there's only one track that belongs here. So let's hear it for Figure 8 Circuit. I'm not joking. I think Figure 8 Circuit makes it as the last track of the Booster Course Pass 2. Think about it, the figure 8 circuit in the Mario Kart 8 game? Name a more perfect match, as you end how you started with a simple track. No! Okay, okay, I'll change it, there, Rainbow Road, jeez, you.